evening. Good evening to you guys. What we're going to do is I am going to, we're going to actually talk about the art of leveraging. We're going to talk about the art of actually being able to turn one application into multiple applications. That was, that is what we're going to talk about today. Share with you how you could actually speed up. Now, we're going to cover more of this on Saturday and Train the Trainer. So, hopefully, a good number of you guys are going to be at Train the Trainer. And if not, you have purchased the option to stream Train the Trainer because there is an art. I'm going to do two um, presentations tonight, two trainings tonight. One is going to talk about the $50,000 bonus, but this one's going to talk about leveraging. So let's dive straight in. We're going to talk about the art of leveraging. So I am streaming this into, um, I am streaming this into our group. So you'll have it. Uh, all right, so the art of leveraging and what that means. Now, when we're talking about leveraging, exactly what we're we talking about. So I'm going to use, I'm going to just, I need a piece of paper, but I'm going to say that, let's just say I have an application on someone, right? Now, the leveraging only actually works if, so let's start with this. Leveraging only actually works if you are exposing the business. So you have to be sharing the presentation because you have to have people that you are tracking, whether they, you know, if they have not told you, no, they're not interested just yet. You have to have people that you are tracking. But in order to get people that you are tracking, you have to be exposing. And what's exposing, you have to be showing a full presentation to somebody. So that's what an exposure is. An exposure, when you show like when you share like the five-minute video to somebody, that's really more of a peak interest kind of thing. That's not necessarily exposing. Exposing, people need to kind of see the presentation from front to back. So if you are exposing and you're sharing the presentation with people and then you're turning around and you're keeping track of that person, they were on a webinar, then I got them on a three-way call, then I sent them um, another presentation, I invited them to a travel party, they still have not told you yes, right? But if you keep a track of them, leveraging begins to work. Now, leveraging works if you are patient. And what I mean by patient is sometimes, guys, when we get an application, we want to take off and run and put the application into the system. I'm, gonna, I'm not going into great detail tonight. I'm going to go into great detail this weekend. But, but you have to learn to be patient. So the art of leveraging is the ability to turn one application, right, one application that you edify to the hilt. And you will be able to, if you've been exposing, but you have a list of people who have not said yes, right? Right? Not just, you know, and it could be for your downline. It could be that you've been exposing for your downline and you have a list of people. So what am I telling you? You telling you, I am telling you that you want to be tracking not only what you do for you, but what you're doing for your team, that individual downline person as well. Why? because this leveraging thing is going to be bananas. So let's talk about it. Turning one application into two, three, five, seven, and as I was expressing to Aaron a few minutes ago, up to 11 applications from one application. Now you may be saying to yourself, like, that totally is blowing my mind. What exactly do you mean? So let me share with you what I mean. So again, I'm not gonna go into grave detail, but I want you to understand the concept. So let's just say you have been tracking, okay? Let's just say you have been tracking your activity and let's just say you have Joe and you have Bob and you have Sue and you have Tim and you have Ian and you have Tom and you have um, Dan and you have Kay right? And you have Sarah. Okay. Now, you have these people that have not told you no yet, but they have not told you yes. These are the people we call the fence sitters. They're sitting on the fence. They're not, they haven't jumped over to the no side. They haven't jumped over to the yes side, right? They're just kind of sitting there. They'll get on your webinar or whatever, right? 
but you're keeping a track of these people. So let's just say you get an application, right? You get an application on a guy named Lance, okay? Now Lance, as Aaron likes to say, is a runner. He is a runner. He's gonna come out the gate running. All right, so you get this application on Lance, okay? Now, before you put in the application, remember that word that's, is it seven or eight letters? P-A-T-I-E-N-T. One, two, three, four, five, seven. That seven letter word, patient. You must be patient. Now, what we often want to do is take off, right? We want to take off and go put that application in the system. But I'm going to ask you to pause for 30 minutes. Why? Because here is your opportunity to turn that application into multiple applications. So let, we're going to put you right here. This happens to be you. This is you. All right. So now Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, nope, that's not spelled right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so now what are you going to do? Well, here is what you're going to do. First things first, you're going to call Joe. And you're going to say, Joe, listen, I know you had not decided which way you were going to go yet, which package you wanted. You know, you were kind of doing your research, but here's what's going on right now, Joe. I just took an application on this guy named Lance. Lance is a runner. When I tell you he's going to be putting dozens and dozens and hundreds of people in this organization, it is going to be amazing. Now, Joe, here's what it means to you. You have an opportunity to override some of that volume, but, but I've got to put Lance in in the next 30 minutes, Joe. So my question to you, I'm willing to place, keyword, place, I'm willing to place Joe on, on, I'm willing to place Lance on your team, Joe, but you got to get started right away. So Joe, do you want this runner on your team or should I call somebody else? Oh, oh, uh, uh, what, what I got to do? Joe, I got your application. I got the credit card number. Is this a credit card you want to use ending in 2222? Fantastic. What I need to do is I need to put you in, Joe. So I can sponsor place Lance on your team. Oh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. So he'll be on my team. Yes. And he'll be one of the persons that you'll need to get three and free. Oh, shoot. Yeah. All right. So Joe says, yes, you call Bob, Bob. Oh my God. I know you had not made a final decision, Bob, but this is your lucky day. Listen, I've got this gentleman out of there, Antigua named Lance. Lance is a straight runner, and I am willing to place him on your team. But wait, there's more. There's a young man by the name of Joe that I'm sponsoring as well. Listen, I'm willing to place both of those on your team, okay? But Bob, you got to sign up today because I got to put Lance in in the next 25 minutes, right? Bob says, oh, well, what do I need to do? Uh, Bob, we need to go ahead and get you signed up. Like, I'm, these guys are ready to get started. Bob's him and ha. So let me, can you call, let me, let me, let me, let me call back. So I put beside his name, you know, WRC. He will return my call. Sue, Sue, you would not believe it. I know, Sue, that you had not made up your mind on what you wanted to do. But Sue, listen, let me tell you something. I have two sharp gentlemen that I am willing to place on your team. This gentleman named Lance out of Antigua, Lance is a runner. He's going to put dozens and dozens and hundreds of hundreds of people in this business. And Joe, Joe's a sharp businessman that is ready to go. And this gentleman knows everybody who is somebody. So Sue, listen, I, I, I got to get Lance in in like the next 22 minutes, 25 minutes, 22 minutes. Listen, Sue, do you want to override this volume or, or should I call somebody else? Sue says, heck yeah, what I got to do, Sue, I need to get a full application, okay? I'm going to text you the information that I need, text it right back to me. Hurry up, Sue. Don't play it. Make sure that credit card number is right because if it doesn't go in, I'm going to the next guy, right? Click. Sue's in. Yes. Hey, Tim, Jan listen, Janice Parker here. Let me tell you something, Tim. I know you had not made up your mind about what you wanted to do, but Tim, let me tell you something. I have 
three sharp runners coming onto the team. Gentleman named Lance out of Antigua. This guy is going to put dozens and dozens, if not hundreds and hundreds of people in your organization. Joe is a sharp businessman. And let me tell you something, everybody who is somebody, Joe knows him. But let me tell you about Sue. Sue has been the number two and number one real estate agent in our region year after year after year. And when I tell you she's got a deep network, Joe, here's, I mean, Tim, here's the thing. I'm willing to put Sue, Joe, and Lance, I'm willing to place all three of those on your team. But guess what? We got, you, you got to get in today because I got like 18 minutes before I need to put this guy, these people in the system. What do I need to do? Well, you know what? You, talk, you gave me a half application. I did not get a credit card with it. I need you to text me that credit card number. It needs to be accurate. It needs to be accurate. It needs to go through. How much is it? It's four seventy-seven or whatever the price is that he told you he wanted to start at, and 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 he have him send you that information. He says yes. Bam. We call Ian. Ian. Oh my God! You would not believe your lucky day. I'm calling to tell you about your lucky day, Ian. I have four runners that are, I'm willing to place on your team, and I know you don't even want to build the business. You were just talking about the travel agency. But well, I'm talking about people who, this gentleman, Lance, out of Antigua, is going to put dozens and dozens and dozens, if not hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of people into your organization. A young man by the name of Joe, Joe knows everybody who is somebody. This lady, Sue, real estate agent, top agent in the last, you know, year after year after year, either number one or number two, knows everybody. Network is deep. And this gentleman named Tim, this gentleman has been a mechanic for years. His client base is strong. Ian. I'm willing to place all of them on your team today, but I only have like 15 minutes before I need to get them in the system in. Oh, you can't do it? Your wife said you couldn't do it? Does she understand? Do you do think you mean to talk to her? Let me tell her what you'll be missing out on if I don't place these four runners on your team. Or you just, you, you, maybe next week. All right, no problem. I'm going to put on my calendar next week, okay? No biggie. Talk to you soon. Talk, talk to you soon, Ian. Tom, oh my God, Tom, I'm so glad I caught you, Tom. I got these four runners. Now I'm going to tell Tom the same thing I told Ian. Tom says yes. Dan says no. Kay says heck yeah. And Sarah says no. So now the way it works is this. I promised Kay that I would put Tom, Tim, Sue, Bob, Joe, and Lance. I would place all of them on her team. I told Tom that I would place Tim, Sue, Bob called back and said yes. I would place Tim, Sue, Bob, Joe, and Lance on her team. Tim, I told him I would place Sue, Bob, Joe, and Lance on his team. Sue, I told her I would place Bob and Joe and Lance on her team. Bob, I told him I had two runners for him, Joe and Lance. And Joe, I told Joe that I would place Lance on his team. Now you may be saying, okay, how am I going to do that? What, how does that work? I don't get it. Well, here's what's going to happen. Remember, all these people are on your list. You're not giving away people. That's not what's going to happen because when you do that, you also give away money. We'll cover more of that on Saturday. But here, but, but you're going to help your downline by giving the, each of them one organization, not giving, placing an organization under them. So you personally would go sign up. You would sign up Lance, Joe, Bob, Sue, Tim, Tom, and Kay. You would personally enroll. What was going to be one application turned into two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, yeah, what was one application turned into seven applications. So then you're going to get with corporate or me or whoever your upline is, and we're gonna dear you, we're gonna have those people placed in an organization. Now remember, I promised, I promised, I promised Sarah. Wait, wait, let's start at the top. I promised um. Yeah, I promise, not Sarah, K. Where's K? K is here. I promised K that Tom would be on her team, that that 
Tom knows that Tim and and is gonna be on his team. Tim knows that Sue is on her. So 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 we're gonna take these people, right? And we're gonna place them down in, in that one leg. So so you're not giving, you're not giving Kay, right? You're not giving her all seven people in her width. You're going straight down in one organization. So now, K, we would sponsor place. Who's next? Tom under K. Okay. We would then sponsor place Tim under Tom. Then we're going to sponsor place Sue under Tim. Then we're going to sponsor place Bob under Sue. Then we're going to sponsor place. Let me erase some stuff. Now, all of these are still your personal. You are placing, not giving. Please hear me. You are placing, not giving people to Kay and Tom and Tim and Sue and Bob, all right? And so then under Bob, and then under Bob, we promised Joe, Bob, we promised Joe to Bob, and we promised Lance to Joe. So remember the phone calls. The last person I talked to that said yes was Kay. I told Kay that we would place Tom, Tim, Sue, Bob, Joe, and Lance under her. That's what we just did. I told Tom we would place Tim, Sue, Bob, Joe, and Lance under her. I mean, under him. That's what we did. I told Tim, I told Tim that we would place Sue, Bob, and Joe, and Lance under her. Remember, I told I had I had th um, three runners. I told Bob when and Bob called back, smart guy. I told Bob we would place Joe and Lance. I had two runners for him. We would place each of them under him. I told Joe that I would sponsor this sharp guy out of Antigua. I told Joe that I would sponsor him. Right? I we would place. Lance under Joe. Now, I, you, you, I, we personally enrolled each of them. And we only ever sponsor place, right? We only ever sponsor place in somebody's fast start team. You never sponsor place. If you're a team builder, you never sponsor place under one of your team builders. That's like cutting off your nose to spite your face. Don't do that. Matter of fact, Call me before you do it, right? Call me to make sure you got it right, okay? But what did you just do, okay? You just put one, two, three, four, five, six, and let's just say that was seven platinums into your organization. You just bonus a thousand dollars, right? Plus, if you're a team builder and they're all your personals, you picked up another three hundred and fifty dollars. Because as a team builder, you earn $30 per platinum plus another $20 override, right? So that's 50 bucks. So you picked up another 350. You just earned $1,350 by being patient. But if you don't just run and put that person into the organization, Lance, you'd have never got Joe, Bob, Sue, Tim, Tom, and Kay. Make sense? So let's just say, next week right let's just say next week next week okay now you've been you've been talking to some other people right you've been talking to some other people okay and that that you know ne the next time you have somebody ready to go the next time you have somebody ready to go remember he's already sponsored he's sponsored she's sponsored so these people on your list right um are already in the system okay but in the last week or so what you have done is you showed the presentation to sylvia you showed it to suge you showed it to Rhonda. you showed it to leslie you showed it to gerald you showed it to aaron you showed it to Kim, okay? You showed it to more than that, but these people haven't given you an answer yet, okay? So what do you do? 
you just got another application. Ha! You just got another full application. You ready to put in the system, but wait, eh, put the brakes on it. This application is on Ann. Ann is a lawyer in your marketplace, right? Ann is coming in as a platinum or a vortex special, whatever. So what do you do? You start with Sylvia. Sylvia, I've got an attorney. She's a rock star. She's a runner. I'm willing to place her on your team, but we got to get her in. I got to get this done in 30 minutes because she's ready to go in the system. Sylvia, are you ready to get started? Because this person is going to put dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of hundreds of people on your team. Do you want her on your team? Yes or no? If not, I'm going to call the next guy. You do. Wonderful. That's a smart move. I tell you what, I need a full application on you. Let me get your information. Tell you what, text me your information. Text it. What matter of fact, you know what? You didn't call me back last time. I'm going to take your information now. Take that information. She said yes, right? Going to Shug. Shug said yes. Great. Rhonda said yes. Leslie said yes. Gerald said no. Aaron said no. Kim said yes. Okay. What you going to do? You're going to sign up Sylvia, Suge, Rhonda, Leslie, Kim, and Ann. But remember, then we're going to call go to corporate. And we're going to say corporate. Okay, I sponsored Kim. Mo please move Leslie under Kim. Now, we're only placing. We're not giving. We don't give. We assist, but we don't give. You give a man a handout, you feed him for a day. You teach a man, you give a man an SBA, he gonna come back looking for another one. No, 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 no. We don't do that. So we're gonna help you, but we're not going to handicap you. Make sense? So, so then we say, okay, and then we need you to move Rhonda under Leslie, and we need you to move Suge under Rhonda, and then I need you to move um, Sylvia under Suge, and then I need you to move Anne. You know what I probably did too? I forgot to tell you. I called back Ian, Dan, and Sarah. And it could be that, that, that Sarah ended up right here. This is Sarah over here. She said no the first time. But you know what? When I called her back and said, Sarah, I got, a, I, I got, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six runners, Sarah. Are you going to tell me no this time or you want me to place them on your team? Oh, my God. Let me get this money. Bet. And so what does Sarah do? Sarah gets in. So then I will put Kim under Sarah, Kim under Sarah, Leslie under Kim, Rhonda under Leslie, Suge under Rhonda, Sylvia under Suge, and Ann under Sylvia. And we took one application, and by leveraging that application, we turned it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more applications, all that you personally sponsored. But you can't have this kind of activity going on if you're not showing the presentation. To, and you have nobody to call to leverage. So ergo, you should be getting this information in front of minimally four to six people per week, minimally. And if you're a team builder, you already know. You need four to six home meetings, four to six group presentations per week. And if you can't pull it off as a group, then you need to be doing a bunch of one-on-ones to make sure that you get the exposure happening so that you have enough people on your list to track, right? So that you have enough people getting started so that what? So that you get, you have people that you can leverage, guys. When I tell you this is magic, it is magic to go from one to seven, two to 14. Do you know what you just did? And every one of them is in your fast, in your, in your team builder group. Come on. Listen, if you're trying to go from, oh my God, it took me more than 30 days to get the team builder, go back and leverage before you drop another application. If you got an application to drop, you call me and we're going to start leveraging. If you don't know what to say, you know I do. We're going to start leveraging and we're going to get more than one application on your team, more than one new partner on your team. Guys, we're going to cover more of this down um, at Train to Trainer this coming weekend. Leaders. This is where you're going to learn to train your team on what to do to speed up your growth. All right. Well, that's it on, on, on that. Leveraging, guys, the art of turning one application into multiple 
application. So guys, have a great night. Oh, I'm coming back. I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you, under, help you understand the run to 50,000. Okay, so that you understand that. We've got some people that want to get there and we want to make sure we get them there. God bless you guys. I'll be right back.